In this video, we'll look at how to create a total station emulation survey style in the Trimmel Access 2017 software, which can be a real useful capability uh, to check out various functionalities and to simulate instrument setups and staking and topo surveys when you don't have an actual instrument available. So to begin with, we've opened up the Trimmel Access software and we'll begin by going right straight to the settings menu. And we'll go ahead and we'll select survey styles and here in survey styles, we'll select new at the bottom of the screen and we'll type in a new survey style. I'll call mine total station emulator. Oops. And we'll change that style type to conventional and we'll just go ahead and accept that. Uh, that's brought up in the total station emulator survey style. And the only thing we really need to change here is we need to go to the instrument option. We'll go ahead and select edit. And we're going to change the default instrument manufacturer from the default Trimble to manual. Now there's some other settings that you could work with, but uh, really not necessary for this. It's pretty much all you have to do. And we'll just go ahead and accept that. And we'll store our new Total Station Emulator survey style. Next, what we'll do is we'll use that Total Station survey style to simulate an instrument setup, and then perhaps to do a topo survey on a couple of points. So let's go ahead and escape out of that screen. Uh, I'll go ahead and close out of this settings screen. And that's going to bring us back to the Trimble Access menu. I'm going to start by selecting General Survey. I'm going to go ahead and create a new job. And I think I'll just go ahead and I'll call this Job 2. Created some previous jobs. And I could go through the various settings, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and accept the last settings that I used. And I'll go ahead and enter that and accept it. So I've now created a new job and it's open up here. And uh, and so what I'd like to do is I'd like to simulate an instrument setup. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and go right straight into measure. I could go into stake out as well. I'm going to grab my total station emulation survey style and I'm just going to go ahead and select a simple station setup. Now normally when you were, if you had an actual instrument or, uh, or didn't have an actual instrument, I should say, um, uh, going into the screen would be very difficult to do, but uh, now that we do have the simulator, it's going right straight to our corrections. So I'll go ahead and put in 29.9 inches of mercury. You can do the usual settings here, and I can put in oh, 75 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'll just go ahead and enter my atmospheric information and go ahead and accept it as if it was a real actual instrument. So uh, to begin with, I don't have any points in this job. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll give my instrument setup point a location. So I'll go ahead and I'll select key in from the drop down list on the right. And it's prompting me for a point name. I'll go ahead and select point number one. It's asking me for a code. I can put in any kind of descriptive information I want. I think I'll select nail. And I'll put in an arbitrary northing of 5,000. And I'll put in an easting. 5,000, and I'll put in an elevation 100. No need to store that as a control point. Wouldn't hurt if I did, but I'll go ahead and store that point. So I now have that instrument uh, point in there. I'll go ahead and give my instrument a height. I'll tell it that it's a true height, and I'll go ahead and accept that. So my instrument point is taken care of. So now it's prompting me to put in a backside point. I'll go ahead and pretend that I'm going to backside a point called point number two. And I'll call this a nail as well. And I'll put in a backside height of five feet. Again, you can check some of those settings and make sure that it is what you want it to be. And I think I'll just put in an arbitrary azimuth of zero. Now there are different methods that you could use and you could explore these different methods, but for simplicity's sake, I'm just gonna go ahead and select angles only here. And I'm gonna go ahead and select measure. Now normally if this were an actual instrument, I'd wanna be sighting the nail, or I'd want to be setting a prism at that nail or some other object, um, but I'd want to make sure I was setting the instrument, and I would go ahead and hit measure, and the instrument would take an actual measurement. In this case, because this is a simulated instrument, when I hit measure, the software is going to prompt me to put in my own manual horizontal angle, so I think I'll go ahead and put in a zero here. I could change the vertical angle if I chose to, but I'll go ahead and leave it at 90, and I'll go ahead and accept that, and that should lock down my backside as soon as I hit store here. Station setup completed. So I've, as the software suggests, I've completed my setup. And now I could go into a variety of routines. I could go into the measure routines. I could go into the stakeout routines. 
and do different things. So just to show you how this works, I'm going to go ahead and go into measure. I'm going to go ahead and select measure topo. I can give my point a starting point number. Maybe I'll start at point number 1000. I'll go ahead and keep the code of nail. And again, a variety of different methods I could use. In this case, I'll do angles and distances. Pretty straightforward. And I'll pretend that I have sighted a prism at this stage of the game. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to store that. So normally, if it was an actual instrument, when I hit measure, the software would take a measurement to that prism and store it. In this case, because it's simulation, we'll go ahead and hit measure and the software will prompt me to manually put in whatever angles and distances that I want. So I'll go ahead and put in 45 degrees for my horizontal angle. We'll hold vertical at 90 and I'll put in a slope distance of 100 feet and I'll go ahead and hit enter. And when I accept that, it's as if I had taken an actual measurement. And we'll go ahead and store that. Observation stored. There we go. And so at this stage of the game, we could do additional measurements, putting in whatever angles and distances that you'd like to hold. Observation stored. So that gives you the opportunity to go in and try various things, store data. You could go and check various options in the software and look at a lot of things that you normally wouldn't be able to do uh, without uh, having the presence of an actual instrument. So check your map screens and uh, view different data and, and uh, uh, explore different settings and, and uh, various other functionality and perhaps even help others. So uh, hopefully that will be helpful for you. And until next time, we will see you.